Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people today we're gonna talk about uh, the add class and remove class in jQuery UI. It's a lot more powerful uh, when you compare it with uh, simply jQuery. In fact I would straight away like to show you a, a browser preview in Google Chrome. Okay now this is the work that I've created for you as an example. We have a div or a division out here it has a class called effect obviously it could have had a different class name too that's something that you decide it also has a button which I've labeled run effect of course you could have uh, given it a different label too okay now the moment I click on this button notice the way uh, the background color as well as the foreground color that is the text of the font color change over time and it's an endless process it's a never-ending process people and this was done so very easily using a jQuery UI add class and remove class uh, with jQuery UI add and remove class you have added control over time uh, and uh, you, you can apply uh, the uh, easing to and you can even uh, request for a callback function that's exactly what I'm doing I'm actually nesting many callback functions uh, into the main function as we'll soon see this tutorial is gonna run into two parts the first part I'll be explaining verbatim verbally the code uh, everything that is uh, there that you see on the you know the code area uh, I'll be explaining it verbally uh, I think it should be suffice for 60 to 70 percent guys but for you know for beginners who are quite new to all this I may have to do it all over again I'll may I may have to write the code all over again so for them only for them I'll run uh, the second part where I'll code out all over again explaining each line as I go on all right so people let's dive in and let's learn the add class and remove class uh, as we have in jQuery UI okay jQuery UI uh, is actually built on top of jQuery library which is uh, a JavaScript library okay very cool now people uh, in this example we see that the colors are animating it could have been a different property too I've just used the background color and the color property out here I could have used any other CSS property as well without any problem okay now uh, this is the source code the HTML document I've called it add class dot HTML although it talks about remove class 2 uh, let's start with the simpler thing let's start with whatever is inside the opening and the closing body tags and that's exactly what goes in, uh, you know what shows up on the web page whatever is inside the body tags people okay uh, even before I do that I'll uh, just show you the uh, structure of the page we have the doc type declaration out here always uh, have the doc type declaration people many a times it'll be a problem if you don't have it in some browsers uh, so we are using HTML5 and uh, then we have the opening HTML tag out here which closes out here the opening head tag out here which actually closes out here the meta tag out here the title goes out here opening and closing uh, we have few script tags out here the opening style tag with the type uh, set to text CSS a few uh, internal styles in fact four internal styles uh, hash button dot effect class this is an ID button and this is this is yeah, another class new class and this is another class new class one so the style tag uh, closes out here which had opened out here with the type attribute uh, the head tag closes out here the body opens out here and closes out here okay so let's look at what exactly is there inside the body we have a div tag with the class effect the div closes out here now let's discuss the class effect which is out here this class dot effect uh, classes always begin with the uh, dot people with the period has a width of 240 as specified in the class has a padding of 1 em has a font size of 1.2 em and we, we are using a border of 1 px solid black let's look at the um, the div or the division with the class effect 
once again let's preview it up in Google Chrome so there we are people this is the div with the uh, up padding applied the background color and the color applied right and the border applied too. cool let's minimize okay and after the div or the division the only div that is there inside the body tag so we have the input tag which does not need to have a closing tag people it has the type of a button that's why it looks like a button very simply uh, the value is actually the label of the button says run effect you could have given a different label too and since we need to reference it I am I'm calling it a button or uh, you could have called it with a different name now this ID button uh, is described out here so that makes sure that we have a style hash button that makes sure that the padding is 0.5 em and 1 em respectively left and right top and bottom so let's look at the button once again so people you see the padding that's been applied all around very cool okay so that's all that is there inside the opening and the closing body tags a div and an input uh, tag with the type button right now let's talk about line number six and seven now this is an example of CDN people content delivery network uh, through these two lines I'm referencing jQuery package and jQuery UI package through content delivery network basically a, a, a remote server which is referenced through uh, this source SRC attribute HTTP code uh, colon forward slash forward slash code jquery.com and then referencing 1.9.1 .1, the latest jquery package or the jquery library and here we are referencing the latest jquery UI library so that's code dot jquery.com UI 1.10.3 so that's the latest jquery UI library or the package right we need these two packages people before uh, you know the JavaScript will actually run will take effect okay there's a little bit of JavaScript code that I'm uh, referencing out here it's an externally lying color nm dot js file it's lying in my local site for uh, folder people the name is color nm dot js uh, so we have the opening script tag out here which closes out here has a type attribute and uh, source attribute set to color nm now this isn't a CDN people it's lying it's a physical file that's lying uh, on my local hard disk which I'm obviously later on gonna up upload to the server my server that is and this is the color nm dot js file we'll come to this file in the end people let's get back to the source code okay so these are the three js files so jquery 1.9.1 1.10.3 and color .js, which I am gonna need for this project to work properly now we have the opening closing uh, style tags out here type set to text uh, CSS so internal or embedded styles people we have already talked about the ID button and the class uh, period effect now let's talk about a new class and new class one these are again two more classes which are very simple to describe people the background color has been set to this uh, color and the color which is the font color has been set to a ghost white very close to the color white uh, another class dot new class one has a background color of chocolate and a color of corn silk okay so people uh, I could have written the code all over again but but which I'm gonna do so only for people who don't quite understand what I'm uh, explaining out here uh, but I think it's self-explanatory people it's very very easy uh, the only thing that now remains for me to tell you is uh, the color nm file okay now before I proceed any further let me tell you all the assets will be bundled up together in a, in a zipped format and uh, will be left for you to download it's a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads one that is number one dot html right now this is the javascript document uh, color nm dot js people let's talk about it i've left a lot of comments people uh, you know closing or balancing the brackets is always a problem with the uh, jquery and other programming languages i i suppose uh, but i've left enough comments so that uh, there's no confusion at all okay uh, deliberately i've not uh, used anonymous functions but i've used function names everywhere it just makes things very easy to understand 
Okay. Now I'm saying in line number two when the document is actually ready. So I'm using the document ready functionality. And uh, see the document ready function is actually closing out here in line number 15. I've left a comment which says end of the document ready function. Okay. So what opens out here? The brackets are being balanced out here. Quite clearly left in the comment. So when somebody clicks on the button, now where's the button? This is the button people. Right. So I'm referencing the uh, button. This is the selector people. This is how you, uh, you know, uh, reference selectors in uh, jQuery. When somebody clicks on it, I would want a function by the name color animation. I could have used an anonymous function, but since I'm, I'm actually calling it again, I have actually given it a name out here. I'm calling it again somewhere else, which is out here in line number 10. We'll come back to that a little later. So I'm actually defining a function color animation and which, which goes like this. If somebody clicks on the button on the div with the class effect, add the class new class over one second or 1000 milliseconds. The easing should be linear or never changing. The default is swing. Okay, we have so many kinds of easings, people, but uh, I don't want it to be a swing, which is uh, which you know which alters slow and fast and slow then, and then slow. I don't want that to happen. I just want it to be uniform all uh, through the uh, animation, never changing at the same pace at the same rate. Okay, and then we have this callback function out here, which I've given it a name. Uh, so basically, uh, why did I actually give it a name? Just for simplicity, people. I could have removed the name too just for simplicity okay uh, so this function one closes out here end of the one function you know so brackets are being balanced out here okay now let's look at the function one which is out here now the function one makes sure that the div with the i you know the class effect i am removing the same class that had applied new class I am removing it over one second and again the uh, easing is linear not swing which is the default people and this time I'm calling yet another function so a callback function within a callback function that's a nested callback function amazing but possible yes and then let's uh, you see the uh, end of function this is the end of function two people so uh, nested callback function which is again in turn calling yet another callback fu function so how very amazing and it's a loop of functions it's a ripple effect and let's look at the uh, function two so the div with the class effect I'm adding a class a new class this time a new class one over one seconds uh, easing is linear which in turn again further recalls uh, a third function you know a th another um, um, callback function I've called it three which is actually being balanced out here end of three function and let's look at the the function three uh, that one uh, that function three is making sure that the div with the class effect the uh, we are using the remove class method removing the same class new class one over one second easing is linear which in turn recalls the color animation the main um, function which is this so it's going in a loop back to the main function so color animation calls function 1 which calls function 2 which calls function uh, 3 which again calls uh, color animation that is why you see the color loop happening you know it goes into a cycle all over again changing its uh, you know the font color and the background uh, background color in fact before I terminate part one of this tutorial in part two I'll be writing the code all over again for you only for people who could not verbatim understand what I've actually done out here okay but I, I have a feeling 60 to 70 percent guys should find this uh, sufficient should suffice and let's take up a preview in Google Chrome once again okay so run the effect and you can see the uh, colors uh, changing the background colors changing in a endless loop okay so the add class and remove class give you added control uh, with a with simple jQuery pure jQuery because uh, here we have the ability to uh, you know apply the class over some duration apply some easing and have a callback function 
which can have a nested callback function as we've seen out here okay I've clearly left out a lot of comments out here which uh, show how the brackets were actually balanced again people all the assets are going to be bundled together in a zipped format for you to free uh, freely download and download free of cost from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash one that's number one dot html people please do comment uh, please thumb it up if you feel like uh, please do subscribe again if you feel like and uh, I also hope that you'll keep coming back for more having enjoyed it uh, I, f I, I hope so I feel so too okay you have a good day bye bye peace